And we'll see what they call here. False start. So it's going to back him up five yards. Fourth down and uh, one second on the clock. So fourth down and 16 now. Fourth and 16, one second on the clock. Love it. End of punt. Average is 35 yards per return. Jason Womack back to receive. Here's the punt. It is a shank almost over by me on the sideline. So that was about a 12-yard punt, and Oak Ridge will take over at the 26-yard line. And that is the end of the first quarter. Oak Ridge leads this one 7-2-0. We're heading to the second quarter right here on Max Preps, powered by Game Week. Have you always wanted to be a sports broadcaster but didn't know how to get started? Well, Game Mike allows you to go out and practice, just like we need to practice as athletes. You can't get better without work, so gain that experience on Game Mike. Are you a parent with multiple active kids? Are you at one event while your spouse is at another? That's where Game Mike comes in, the free app that allows anyone to broadcast live audio so that people can listen on the go and feel as if they were there. Game Mike, it's in the emotions. All right, welcome back. And after that very short punt, Oak Ridge will take over. That one was just shanked completely. About a 10-yard punt, and Oak Ridge will take over. Oak Ridge takes over at the Clayton Valley Charter 26 yard line. First down and 10 for the Trojans. They take the snap. And it's Orme who gets about four yards right there. Second down and six coming up as the second quarter is underway. Oak Ridge leads this one 7 2 0. Second and six coming up. Oak Ridge scored on an Orme touchdown to start in the first quarter on their second possession. Second down and six. Joaquin Graves Mercado takes the shotgun snap, hands it. Nope, he faked the handoff. He rolls out. He fires. He takes a hit. Touchdown, Trojans. Adam Burbach with a touchdown reception in the end zone. 13-0 Trojans. Joaquin Graves Mercado right there. Watt was uh, rolling back, rolled around, embraced the contact, got rid of the football, touchdown. First one of the game for him. And that's his fifth touchdown pass of the season. And it's 13-0 Oak Ridge. Here comes Hensley's extra point. He's 8 for 11 this year. Bad snap, and it was blocked. And... There's a fight for the ball, and it's down 13 to nothing. Hensley now 8 for 12 on the season on extra points. And we have a great crowd here tonight at Oak Ridge for the finale of the Honorable between one of the top teams in the, in the Sac Joaquin section and one of the top teams in the North Coast section. Oak Ridge currently leads 13 to nothing with 11-18 to play in the first half 13 to nothing Oak Ridge
as the Trojans get ready to kick this football off. 13 to nothing. Hensley on for the kickoff. He's had a lot of touchbacks this year, and here comes another kickoff from Hensley. It's kicked deep, and it is headed into the end zone for another touchback, his third of the afternoon already, third of the night. 11-18 to play in the first half. Oak Ridge up 13 to nothing. Clayton Valley Charter has not really gotten much started so far this game, but they do have a great quarterback who can also run two touchdown runs and a touchdown pass this season for Lovett, who has offers that include Army, Campbell, and Houston Christian. Clayton Valley Charter now starts from their own 20. And the team switched fields at the end of the quarter. And here comes the snap. They hand it off to Beverly, who uses his speed, gets the first down and more. And he gets about 20 yards or so before Womack takes him down. Lots of Clayton Valley Charter fans made the trip here from Concord. Beverly there with that nice run out to the 37. So a nice 17-yard gain there by Beverly. He took that end around snap. He turned on the Jets and got 17 yards for the first down. Biggest play of the day so far for Clayton Valley Charter. 10 minutes and 50 seconds left in the first half. Love it. And shotgun. Johnson right next to him. He fakes the handoff to the receiver, then handed it off to Johnson. A receiver came on on the end around. So three-yard run right there. Excuse me, Jason Jones, not Johnson. And Jason Jones with that three-yard run. Second and seven coming up as Love It, the quarterback, runs the play into the huddle. Second down and seven. Beautiful night here out in El Dorado Hills. Perfect night under the lights. Second down and seven. Love it in shotgun. Jones right behind him. Three receivers out wide. He takes the snap, hands it off to Jones. Jones runs through the middle and gets taken down after a gain of a couple by Braden Mulgannon. And that will set up a third down and about four, maybe three. Eight, four, nine forty left in the first half. Oak Ridge up 13 to nothing. That last drive was uh, helped big time from a, from a big time punt that went down at the one yard line by Alex Hensley. What a punter he is. What a kicker in general. Great on kickoffs. Great on punts. Great on extra points and field goals. All right, third down and four. Love it. In the shotgun snap, he takes it. He fires complete four, and that was at the line of scrimmage. I don't believe he got enough. We'll see. That was to Tony Keck, who has an offer from UNLV. We'll see if that was enough to move the chains. It was not. So it's now fourth down and two from their own 45, and love it. who is also the team's punter. We'll have a decision to make here. We'll see what the Ugly Eagles do. They have ugly written on their uniforms above their numbers on the front of their jersey, and then on the back, the names of the player with the number underneath. Fourth down and two. And uh, the quarterback lining up in his normal shotgun position. We'll see if they punt or if they go for it. Fourth and two. And they hand it off to Jones. Jones gets through. First down. Clayton Valley Charter. 8.50 left in the half. First down. Clayton Valley Charter. Big fourth down conversion right there by the Ugly Eagles. 
They now have the ball right, nope, on Oak Ridge territory at the Oak Ridge 47 yard line, first down and 10. First and 10, love it, in shotgun, Jones right next to him, three receivers out wide. He takes the snap, fakes the handoff, throws to his receiver, his big tight end, Logan Knapp, who catches it, gets maybe about two or three yards there. So down to the 44 yard line. Second down and six, Knapp, a big six, Five, 230 pounds, two receiving touchdowns on the season, including a 59-yard touchdown score. Seven forty-five left in the first half. Second down and six. Oak Ridge leads this ball game, 13 to nothing. Oak Ridge came into this one with a three and O record. Clayton Valley Charter one and one. Here's the snap. He's looking. He fires deep. Love it. And he just overthrew his man third down. He had his man there, but he was forced to throw that quickly. And Clayton Valley Charter's logo is a U, and it's the same U that the University of Miami uses, just slightly different colors. The exact same shape of that U, the same one. All right, third down and six, 7.28 to play. Love it, in shotgun, Jones on his left, four receivers out wide, big linemen, including Serna, who's headed to San Jose State. As Lovett has to scramble, there's a flag, and it's gonna be a holding. And Lovett got out of bounds. He might have had enough for the first down, However, it's coming back with the hold. We'll see. Oak Ridge has a decision to make if they want to decline that or not. And it, the penalty has been accepted. So it's a 10 yard penalty. Nope, it has been declined. It's going to be a fourth down and about five, it looks like. Nope, now they're backing the ball up. It has been accepted. Four, nope, third down and about 17 now. 7.21 left to play. In the first half, Oak Ridge up 13 to zero. Here's a snap, love it, drops back. He flings it. And it was an incomplete pass. I mean, the running back was tackled while the ball was in the air. But no flag, flew, fourth down. And love it out, likely to punt. Average is 35 yards a punt, his last one though, Went about 12 yards. 7.16 to play in the first half. And love it. Gets the punt off. Much better punt that time. Takes a nice bounce. And it's picked up and returned by Womack, who's ripping off the sideline. And he gets to about the 30 before he's cut down. Solid return. Back down around the 41. And he made it to the 41, they say. So Oak Ridge now will take over at their own 41-yard line after that 15, well, it was a net 15-yard punt. Probably about a 40-yard punt, though, if you don't include the return yards. All right, walking Gary's Mercado back in the game. He threw a touchdown on his last possession. Hands the ball off there. Orme, who has a touchdown, gets that first carry and takes it out across the 45 
to the 46-yard line for a gain of five. Second down and five coming up. Orme, a 5'6 running back, uh, just a junior, but doing great already this year. Four rushing touchdowns on the season. I mean, just a great run game here at Oak Ridge. Because then you have Jason Womack, who also, who also has three rushing touchdowns. A dynamic duo in the Trojans' backfield. And then you have Walking Gears Mercado, just a junior. This could be a team that's tough for many years to come. Walking Gears Mercado gets the snap. He fires deep. And he just overthrows Jaden Anderson. It's going to be third down and six with 6.17 to play in the first half. Third in. 49ers mascot is in attendance, as is 49ers legend, a guy McIntyre, who has been part of all the trophy presentations for the Honorable today, three-time Super Bowl champion. As Walking Games Mercado takes the snap, fires caught by Edwards, and he takes a hit. First down, though, Oak Ridge. Six minutes and ten seconds left in the first half. First down and ten for Oak Ridge. As the ball has just crossed midfield at the 46-yard line of Clayton Valley Charter. Walking Gears Mercado in shotgun. Hands it off to Womack on the end around it. Womack gets to about the 43, 42 yard line before he is tackled after a gain of four. Second down and six coming up for the Trojans. Oak Ridge leads 13 to nothing with 520 left here in the first half. Third game of the Honorable today. Great event hosted by the Honor Group and Oak Ridge High School. Second down and six. Walking Gears Mercado takes the shotgun snap, hands it to Orme. And Orme rolls around, gets across the 40 to about the 39, sets up a second, a third down, and about three. Everything that is raised tonight goes to injured, ill, and wounded veterans. 100% of what we make tonight goes back to that cause. You will see some beautiful women walking through the stands with some military officials. We are asking for your donations. Please drop whatever you can. All right, third down and three coming up. For Oak Ridge, walking Gears Mercado in shotgun. He takes a snap, takes the handoff, rolls outside, throws. And that was caught at about the 38. I don't think that was enough for the first down. And it wasn't. That was a gain of about two. So fourth and fourth and two now from the 38-yard line. And uh, the Oak Ridge offense remains on the field. Fourth down and a couple. Walking Gears Mercado trots back on the field from the sideline. He takes a snap quickly. They hand it off, and Womack trying to jump over the pile, and he gets stopped. Turnover on downs. Clayton Valley Charter got the stop, and it looked like that was Angel Gonzalez, the senior linebacker, who was the leader on that tackle. And now Clayton Valley Charter will take over with three minutes and 40 seconds left. All right, three minutes and 40 seconds left 
Plain Valley Charter has the ball on their own 37-yard line. Love it. In the game at quarterback, he takes a snap, bobbles it, and handed that ball off. But it was a four-yard loss on the play. Nico Polisi with that tackle. He got in the backfield quick. Loss of about six or seven. Second down and 16 now, it looks like. For Clayton Valley Charter. Love it. In the shotgun. Jones right next to him. Love it. Drops back to throw. He's pressured quick. Three Oak Ridge guys are there. He, he rounds the corner. He throws it out of bounds. Third down and 16. He was cornered. No receivers were open, and he just had to throw that one away into the into the sideline. 2.52 left. Third down and uh, about 16. This Oak Ridge defense is dominant. They've been allowing a little bit over 17 points a game this season. And that's games against number eight Grant in the section, number five Madison, the number five team in San Diego, and then Spanish Springs, the number 15 team in Nevada. All right, love it. Drops back to throw, third and 16. He rolls out. He's about to be sacked. He gets rid of it, throws it high in the air, almost picked off. But the offensive receiver had to turn into a defender there to knock that ball away. I mean, that ball was thrown up there just like a punt. Ladies and gentlemen, fourth down and 14. We're asking and passing the helmet for donations. Drop whatever you have to change into those, that would be really appreciated. Everything goes to our injured, ill, and wounded veteran. All right, fourth down and 16 now. Love it's in the game. He is also the punter, probably going to punt this one away. 241 left in the first half. Oak Ridge up 13 to 0. Here's the punt. Almost blocked, but he got it away, and the line drive is caught. And taken to about the 40-yard line. Jaden Anderson, the man to return that punt. And Oak Ridge will take over near midfield at their own 46-yard line. Two and a half minutes left in the first half. Walking news, Mercado takes a snap, quick throw, complete to Anderson on the corner. He gets out of bounds. I believe that's enough. Nope, it's not enough for our first down. Sets up a second and short with 2.26 left in the first half. Andre Watts, Andre Watts with the tackle there. 2.26 left in the first half, 13 to 0. Second down and about five coming up for the Trojans. Walking Grace Mercado in shotgun. Womack on his right. Four receivers are out wide. He takes a snap, fires toward the corner, and through the hands of his intended target, Andrew Wengel. Sets up a third down and five now. Sold out crowd today. It's packed on the Oak Ridge side on this Saturday night. Plain Valley Charter also traveled a lot of people. And just a beautiful night for football ahead of tomorrow's uh, first Sunday of the NFL season. Oak Ridge has two current players in the NFL, Ross Dwelly of the San Francisco 49ers and Ian Book of the Philadelphia Eagles. All right, third and five. Walking as Ricardo takes a snap, 
He's pressured. He throws and dropped by Caleb Edwards. That was a tough one to get. I'll give him that. But uh, he almost had it. One of those where he was running for it, and then it was a little bit underthrown, so he had to stop, reach forward, and uh, just couldn't get back there in time. It hit his fingers and dropped. Fourth down now, and here is Alex Hensley to punt this ball away with 2.17 left in the half. Oak Ridge leads 13 to zero. Here's the snap. Pensley's punt is a beauty. High and long. And fair caught inside the 20 at the 19 yard line. I guess that was a 32 yard punt. So oh, uh, Clayton Valley Charter will take over at their own 19 yard line. First down and 10, two minutes and nine seconds to remain. And uh, we're going to take a quick break, 15 seconds, and be right back for the first play of the drive. Hello and welcome back. 13-0 Oak Ridge, 209 to play. I guess there was a penalty on that kick, but it was declined. So Clayton Valley Charter will start at their own 19-yard line. Love it. The quarterback in a shotgun running back on his left. He takes a snap, fires to a receiver, and catches at the line of scrimmage and is taken down for a gain of one. And that was Cleowin Brown with the reception, his second of the night. Second down and eight. They gave him two yards there. Moved across to the 21, and Clean Valley Charter might just be content running some clock right now. They're not in a hurry. 135 left. The ball's all the way at their own 21 yard line. All right, here's the snap. Love it. Passes, caught, first down by the running back. And that was LaDon Dorch with that catch that, to the running back. And that was for about all the way to the 36. That was 15 yards, 120 left to play here in the first half. Both teams have all three of their timeouts remaining. So they're marking it at the 35. So that was a 14-yard completion there. First down and 10. Love it. In at quarterback. He takes the shotgun snap. He drops back. Fires. Incomplete. Love it. Looking for number nine. And he is uh, stretching out his right hand right now, which is his throwing hand, as he ran back to the sideline to get that play call. His right hand might be a little bit sore. Balls at the 35, one minute and 15 seconds left. Oak Ridge up by 13 here as we are in the final minutes of the first half. Lovettson shotgun is running back on his left. Three receivers out wide, a tight formation here. All right, Lovettson shotgun. He takes a snap. He drops back. He fires. Caught. And gets about five yards there. Short pass completion to Isaac Valdivia. First catch of the day. And it was for about five yards. So third down and five. He got out of bounds there too. So it stops the clock with a minute eight. Third down and five. Lovinson shotgun running back on his left. One minute, eight seconds left in the half. Love it drops back. He's pressured quick. 
He escapes the sack. He throws. Caught. First down and more. That's Tony Keck. Who's down the sideline? There is a flag, though. Late on the run. So the referees are signaling it's going to be a first down either way. But now, maybe he didn't see the flag because now he's stopped signaling first down and ran over to the other officials. But that, I mean, that, that flag was thrown well after he was past the first down marker. But both teams now walking back to the original line of scrimmage. A hold against Clayton Valley. We'll see where they mark it. So the official does do the first down wave, though. So it's a first down either way. And we'll see where they end up marking this football. Take that back. Calls against the Trojans. Oh, wow. They called it against Oak Ridge. As Clayton Valley Charter now takes over. Incomplete pass. Passing complete intended for number 11, Cleveland Brown. Second and 10. Second down and 10. So Clayton Valley Charter has the ball at the Oak Ridge 46 yard our line. Time is going to be absolutely terrific. With Oak Ridge cheer, dance, and. Uh, Ball is at the Oak Ridge 46. So they got that ball down to the 31 on that play, and then a, a penalty backed him up back to the 46. But now it's second and 10. 46 seconds left in the first half. Love it. That quarterback takes the snap. He drops back. He's pressured quick. Fires off his back foot incomplete. This Oak Ridge defensive line is getting into the backfield at will right now. And they're forcing Levitt into making quick throws off his back foot. So 40 seconds left, third down and 10. Forty seconds left, third and ten. Love it runs in with the play call in the huddle. And they're breaking the huddle, and the referee is already signaling the five second wave. All right, love it in shotgun. He drops back. He's pressured quickly, and they fumbles the football. It's picked up, though, by a goal. Neil, who? Picks up. No, he fumbled it too. And I believe Oak Ridge has that football. Wow. It was almost a sack. Then the quarterback fumbled it. The running back picked it up, started to run with it. And then he got hit and he fumbled too. And we'll see what the call they make here. As of now, they're saying it's Plain Valley football still. Fourth down. 26 seconds left. You have to think Oak Ridge would probably want to use a timeout right now. The way their defensive line has been playing, they definitely have a chance to block a punt right now. Fourth down, 26 seconds left. We'll see what they do. The referees are talking, and Oak Ridge has called a timeout with 26 seconds. So it's going to be fourth down and 22. 40, 26 seconds left. Lovett's got to get this punt off. If he can get this punt off, it feels like they'll go into the locker room trailing 13 nothing. But if Oak Ridge can uh, get this punt, man, you never know. You never know. And the Oak Ridge defense and special teams comes onto the field. Jaden Anderson is back to receive. He's had some great kickoff returns. I mean, punt returns tonight, too. And I believe Oak Ridge will also receive the kickoff. Here's the punt. He got it off. Anderson catches it at his own 20. He starts to take off at his 25, and he is tackled at the 25-yard line. Big tackle right there by Isaac Valdivia. 
Valdivia got him down at the 26. There's 18 seconds left in the first half. Eighteen seconds to go. Here comes the Oak Ridge offense. Led by Joaquin Graves Mercado at quarterback Orme on his right. He takes a snap, he drops back in shotgun, and he hands it off to Orme. Orme has a nice lane, gets about 12 or so, 10 seconds on the clock. And Oak Ridge takes a timeout with 10 seconds left. So that was a gain of 12 as uh, Oak Ridge has used their second timeout now with 10 seconds left. And we'll see if they take a shot here. I mean, their kicker has a great leg. I mean, if they can get into field goal range, might as well give them a shot. You never know. I'd say they need to go at least 28 yards more on this play. And that would put them in range for a 50-yard field goal. First down and 10. Here comes the offense and the defense following the timeout. Walking Gears Mercado in shotgun. Orme on his right. He takes a snap. He rolls outside. He's looking to go deep. He's pressured. He fires it out of bounds. Five seconds. Show on the clock, second and 10 coming up for the Trojans. Second down and 10. From the 39-yard line, five seconds remain. We'll see what the Trojans do here. They lead 13 to nothing as the first half is coming to an end. The big man, Caleb Edwards, lining up uh, as a receiver right here. Graves Mercado takes the shotgun snap, hands it off to Orme. Orme runs around and is tackled. And that will do it for the first half. Oak Ridge leads 13-0. to And uh, over Clayton Valley Charter, I'll be back in about 10 minutes with a halftime update. And a time update on when the half, second half will begin. Probably be back. Pro the second half will probably begin in about 20 or so minutes. Uh, thank you for joining me, and I'll be back uh, shortly. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. 
Have you always wanted to be a sports broadcaster but didn't know how to get started? Well, Game Mike allows you to go out and practice, just like we need to practice as athletes. You can't get better without work, so gain that experience on Game Mike. Are you a parent with multiple active kids? Are you at one event while your spouse is at another? That's where Game Mike comes in, the free app that allows anyone to broadcast live audio so that people can listen on the go and feel as if they were there. Game Mike, it's in the emotions. Thank you for tuning in to this live audio broadcast. If you paid to listen to this event, or you plan to, we know our broadcasters greatly appreciate that. It may pay for some gas, a hot dog at halftime, and just for their time, providing a great service for those who cannot attend or watch. We're nothing without our broadcasters. So thank you from all of us at Game Mike. The fall season is here, and Game Mike is your source for live audio. Together with MaxPreps.com, we'll be live from high school events all across the country. From the biggest football games, to action on the volleyball court, to flag football we have your audio needs covered broadcasters out there download game mic today and let your voice be heard max preps is america's source for high school sports and we're looking for more broadcasters out there that have an interest in providing live audio from their high school events no experience needed but it can be gained email social mp at cbsinteractive.com to learn more that's social MP at cbsinteractive.com. Hey everyone, this is Chris Rivas, co-founder of Game Mike. Thank you for listening in. Game Mike was built so any school, any program, any sport, any time can create a live audio broadcast. We believe audio brings moments to life. Download Game Mike today in the app and Google Play Store. Game Mike, it's in the emotions. What's up everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume 
as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. Have you always wanted to be a sports broadcaster but didn't know how to get started? Well, Game Mike allows you to go out and practice, just like we need to practice as athletes. You can't get better without work, so gain that experience on Game Mike. Are you a parent with multiple active kids? Are you at one event while your spouse is at another? That's where Game Mike comes in, the free app that allows anyone to broadcast live audio so that people can listen on the go and feel as if they were there. Game Mike, it's in the emotions. Thank you for tuning in to this live audio broadcast. If you paid to listen to this event or you plan to, we know our broadcasters greatly appreciate that. It may pay for some gas, a hot dog at halftime, and just for their time, providing a great service for those who cannot attend or watch. We're nothing without our broadcasters. So thank you from all of us at Game Mike. The fall season is here, and Game Mike is your source for live audio. Together with MaxPreps.com, we'll be live from high school events all across the country. From the biggest football games, to action on the volleyball court, to flag football we have your audio needs covered broadcasters out there download game mic today and let your voice be heard max preps is america's source for high school sports and we're looking for more broadcasters out there that have an interest in providing live audio from their high school events no experience needed but it can be gained email social mp at cbsinteractive.com to learn more that's social MP at cbsinteractive.com. Hey everyone, this is Chris Rivas, co-founder of Game Mike. Thank you for listening in. Game Mike was built so any school, any program, any sport, any time can create a live audio broadcast. We believe audio brings moments to life. Download Game Mike today in the app and Google Play Store. Game Mike, it's in the emotions. What's up everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. Hello and welcome back. Still about 10 minutes left in halftime. The clock is showing 10 and a half minutes. And then I believe they will add on an additional three minutes to score Oak Ridge up 13 to zero. I'll take another break and uh, be back closer to the second half beginning. Thank you for listening. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. Have you always wanted to be a sports broadcaster but didn't know how to get started? Well, Game Mike allows you to go out and practice, just like we need to practice as athletes. You can't get better without work, so gain that experience on Game Mike. Are you a parent with multiple active kids? Are you at one event while your spouse is at another? That's where Game Mike comes in, the free app that allows anyone to broadcast live audio so that people can listen on the go and feel as if they were there. Game Mike, it's in the emotions. Thank you for tuning in to this live audio broadcast. If you paid to listen to this event or you plan to, 
We know our broadcasters greatly appreciate that. It may pay for some gas, a hot dog at halftime, and just for their time, providing a great service for those who cannot attend or watch. We're nothing without our broadcasters. So thank you from all of us at Game Mike. The fall season is here, and Game Mike is your source for live audio. Together with MaxPreps.com, we'll be live from high school events all across the country. From the biggest football games, to action on the volleyball court, to flag football. We have your audio needs covered. Broadcasters out there, download Game Mike today and let your voice be heard. Max Preps is America's source for high school sports. And we're looking for more broadcasters out there that have an interest in providing live audio from their high school events. No experience needed, but it can be gained. Email socialmp at cbsinteractive.com to learn more. That's socialmp at cbsinteractive.com. Hey everyone, this is Chris Rivas, co-founder of Game Mike. Thank you for listening in. Game Mike was built so any school, any program, any sport, any time can create a live audio broadcast. We believe audio brings moments to life. Download Game Mike today in the app and Google Play Store. Game Mike, it's in the emotions. What's up everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. Hey, everyone. This is Chris Rivas, co-founder of Game Mike. Thank you for listening in. Game Mike was built so any school, any program, any sport, any time can create a live audio broadcast. We believe audio brings moments to life. Download Game Mike today in the app and Google Play Store. Game Mike, it's in the emotions. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. Have you always wanted to be a sports broadcaster but didn't know how to get started? Well, Game Mike allows you to go out and practice, just like we need to practice as athletes. You can't get better without work, so gain that experience on Game Mike. 
Are you a parent with multiple active kids? Are you at one event while your spouse is at another? That's where Game Mic comes in, the free app that allows anyone to broadcast live audio so the people can listen on the go and feel as if they were there. Game Mic, it's in the emotions. Thank you for tuning in to this live audio broadcast. If you paid to listen to this event or you plan to, we know our broadcasters greatly appreciate that. It may pay for some gas, a hot dog at halftime, and just for their time, providing a great service for those who cannot attend or watch. We're nothing without our broadcasters. So thank you from all of us at Game Mike. The fall season is here, and Game Mike is your source for live audio. Together with MaxPreps.com, we'll be live from high school events all across the country. From the biggest football games, to action on the volleyball court, to flag football. We have your audio needs covered. Broadcasters out there, download Game Mic today and let your voice be heard. Max Preps is America's source for high school sports. And we're looking for more broadcasters out there that have an interest in providing live audio from their high school events. No experience needed, but it can be gained. Email socialmp at cbsinteractive.com to learn more. That's socialmp at cbsinteractive.com. Hey everyone, this is Chris Rivas, co-founder of Game Mike. Thank you for listening in. Game Mike was built so any school, any program, any sport, any time can create a live audio broadcast. We believe audio brings moments to life. Download Game Mike today in the app and Google Play Store. Game Mike, it's in the emotions. What's up everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. Hey, everyone. This is Chris Rivas, co-founder of Game Mike. Thank you for listening in. Game Mike was built so any school, any program, any sport, any time can create a live audio broadcast. We believe audio brings moments to life. Download Game Mike today in the app and Google Play Store. Game Mike, it's in the emotions. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. Hello and welcome back. Two and a half more minutes before the second half begins. A very, very long halftime. 
feel like the band, cheerleaders, dance teams, I feel like every club was performing. And uh, But we are two and a half minutes away from more football. Oak Ridge leads it 13 to zero. Two minutes left before the second half begins. Oak Ridge started off the scoring with a touchdown run from Eric Orme Jr. And then the defense held strong all night long. And their special teams units were also playing great. A punt was down at the one yard line. And then Oak Ridge scored again on a touchdown pass and an extra point was no good. But 13 to nothing. For the Trojans, one and a half minutes left. I'll be back in one minute for the second half. Max Preps is America's source for high school sports. And we're looking for more broadcasters out there that have an interest in providing live audio from their high school events. No experience needed, but it can be gained. Email socialmp at cbsinteractive.com to learn more. That's socialmp at cbsinteractive.com. Hey everyone, this is Chris Rivas, co-founder of Game Mike. Thank you for listening in. Game Mike was built so any school, any program, any sport, any time can create a live audio broadcast. We believe audio brings moments to life. Download Game Mike today in the app and Google Play Store. Game Mike, it's in the emotions. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike. All right, welcome back. Almost time for the second half to begin. The clock is showing 10 seconds, and I believe Clayton Valley Charter will be kicking off the football to Oak Ridge to start the second half. I'm Thomas Fry, and uh, here at Oak Ridge High School, as Oak Ridge is hosting the third and final game of the Honorable today. They hold a 13-0 lead, and they are looking to move to 4-0. Plain Valley Charter ranked number five in the North Coast section. They have a record of one and one. Their win coming against Salinas, one of the best teams in the Central Coast section. And their loss coming against Higley, one of the best teams in the state of Arizona. All right, the referee has blown his whistle. And uh, the teams are about to come onto the field. 12 minutes is showing on that game clock. Third quarter about to begin. Oak Ridge in their white helmets, I mean white jerseys, blue helmets, and uh, gold helmet decals are getting ready to kick off. Couple big upsets. Miami over Texas A&M, 48-33. The big one on the day. Texas over Alabama, 34-24. All right, here is the kickoff about to happen. 13-2-0. Oak Ridge with the lead, and they will get the ball back to receive. It's Jason Womack. And Jaden Anderson. The kickoff, and Womack catches it at the 10. He runs 15 20. He has a wall of blockers ahead of him, gets tackled at about the 28 yard line. And that's where the Trojans will begin their first drive of the second half. They hold a 13 0 lead. They're ranked number three in the section, number 21 in the state. The leaders in the top of the state are Modern Day and St. John Bosco. Not only are they California powers, but they are national powers. 11.52 to play in the third quarter. Walking Gears Mercado 
in at quarterback in the shotgun formation. Orme right behind him at running back. He takes the snap, fires to Womack, who at receiver in the slot. And Womack catches it, moves, gets the first down and more, probably gets about 20 right there. And he was uh, taken down hard. But he is up quickly and moving. First down now. At their, uh, they have the ball now at their own 45 after that 15 yard. Sorry, yeah, 15, 21 yard reception right there. All right, Womack and Chaka and Orme on his right. Orme had a big rushing touchdown earlier. Womack moves from the right on a reverse, gets the handoff, cuts inside, probably gets about four or so yards right there. And it is, there's a flag on the play. Team's already backing up. He got the ball to midfield. And Oak Ridge is charged with a hold. Second down, I'm sorry, first down and 20 coming up. And they're calling it from the spot of the hold, so it's actually going to be about first and 16 or 17 for the Trojans. Locking is Ricardo in shotgun, hands it off to Orme. Orme breaks through, probably gets about seven or eight yards right there before he is brought down by the defense. Brandon Ards, the one with the tackle for Clayton Valley Charter, who trail 13 to 0 with 10.58 to play in the third quarter. Second down and 11. So he got about, he got most of the penalty yardage back right there on that run. 24 touchdowns on JV last year for Orme. And he already has one tonight and four on the season. He's a junior, five foot six. Grace Mercado takes a snap. Sets back. He's looking to throw. He fires toward the middle, toward Edwards, and Edwards could not catch it. A guy. A defender actually tried to lay a late hit on Edwards, and uh, Edwards is huge. He's like 6'7", listed at 6'6", 240, and the guy trying to lay the hit on him ran into Edwards and just fell straight back on the ground, trying to lay the hit on, and he got punished for it. Third down and 11 now, 10-23 left in the third quarter. As Graves Mercado breaks the huddle, Womack is running back right behind him. Sold out crowd tonight here at in El Dorado Hills. We have a whistle on the field and a timeout by the Trojans. We're going to take it with them and we'll be back in 30 seconds. 13 0 Oak Ridge, 10 23 to go in the third quarter. The fall season is here. And Game Mic is your source for live audio. Together with MaxPreps.com, we'll be live from high school events all across the country. From the biggest football games to action on the volleyball court to flag football. We have your audio needs covered. Broadcasters out there, download Game Mic today and let your voice be heard. Max Preps is America's source for high school sports. Hello and welcome back. Big third down and 11 coming up here. 10-23 to play in the third quarter. Oak Ridge has the ball at their own 45-yard line on the first possession of the third quarter. Blocking Grays Mercado, Mercado, a junior, has the Trojans ranked number three in the section. He takes a snap. He's in shotgun. He fires toward the middle. Caught. 
first down and much, much more. And that was by Adam Furbach, who had a touchdown earlier. Probably got about 25 yards right there. Bauer back with the reception. 27-yard gain over his first down. And they gave him credit for 27 yards on that play. Down to the 28-yard line. Henry Force with the stop on that play for Clayton Bauer. Big third down toss there by Grace Mercado. He's really improving each and every week. First year as a starter on varsity at quarterback. He's in shotgun. Orme on his right. He hands it off to Orme. Orme runs through. Gains about six right there. Takes it from the 33. Sorry, the 28 down to the 22. So gain of six right there for Orme. Gain of six right there. 9.22 left in the third quarter here. Oak Ridge up 13 to zero. Over Clayton Valley Charter, walking Grace Mercado and shotgun. Both his running backs, Womack and Orme, in the backfield. He hands it off to Womack. Womack cuts through. And he gets about a yard or two. Third down now and about three. They're at the 21. They need to get to the 18-yard line for a first down. 8.47 left in the third after that run by Womack. Oak Ridge offensive line led by the huge left tackle, Ethan Dasman, headed to Fresno State. They hand it off to Orme. Orme rolls through, and it's going to be close. I, I think he might have gotten it. He just crashed hard into the hole, and he's either going to have it or be about an inch away. And that's a first down. The head referee signals it. Long drive to start the third quarter. Already at four minutes for the Trojans. 8.05 left to play here in the third. And you have to wonder, if Oak Ridge scores a touchdown here, would they go for two? Their kicker is eight for 12 on the season on extra points. He's missed one tonight. I mean, to be fair, it was blocked, but still eight for 12 on the season. First down and 10 right now. Walking Gray's Mercado in shotgun. Orme right behind him. He takes a snap, hands it to Orme. Orme, he can really speed up fast. Gets all the way down to the 11 yard line for a gain of seven. Seven yard run. Instead of a second and long, it's a second and a short. Second and three to be exact. As Orme is having a great drive. A great game overall, including a big touchdown run. First one of the game for the Trojans. 22 yards. He just dashed through the middle like a bowling ball. Got into the end zone for 22 yards out. Joaquin Grace Mercado in. He hands the ball off to Womack. Womack gets the first down and gets tackled. One yard past the marker at the seven-yard line. First down, Trojans. First down and goal, Trojans. From the seven. First and goal. Oak Ridge already up 13 to zero. The clock's at 640 and counting. Walking is Mercado in Shaka and Orme right behind him. He takes a snap, hands it to Orme. Orme dashes through, gets stuffed at the line of scrimmage for no gain. A very, very physical game today. Second down and goal now for the Trojans. And they actually give him a yard there, down to the six-yard line. Oak Ridge in the huddle. 
The big tight end, Caleb Edwards, lining up next to the right tackle. Here's the snap. He hands it off to Orme. Orme tries to get to the outside. He does get to the outside. He's in the end zone. There is a flag, though. So it's a touchdown, but... And you can see the referee telling the offensive lineman he had his hands on the outside of the shoulder pads. And I guess he had to have them on the inside. So that's what they threw the flag for. So now it'll be second and goal from the 13-yard line. So that was a seven-yard penalty. So second and goal now. Second down and goal. Grace Mercado in shotgun. Orme right behind him. Three receivers motion to the other side. They take the handoff. Orme hands it, takes the handoff, gets cut down at about the 11 yard line after a gain of one. Gain of two, excuse me. Five and a half minutes left to play in the first half. Third down and goal for the Trojans. From, oh, they are marking at the 12, so it, it was a one yard gain from the 12 yard line. 5 12 to play in the third quarter. 13 to 0, Oak Ridge. Graves Mercado in shotgun, empty backfield. Womack motions on the outside, fakes the handoff. Graves Mercado is looking for the end zone. He takes off, he shovel passes it to Womack. He gets tackled at about the 10, and Graves Mercado just got buried into the turf. So fourth down now and goal from the 10, and here comes the kicking unit. And the officials are calling a timeout. Ooh, and there's a injured Clayton Valley charter player on the other sideline so Hensley when play resumes say they're stretching him out it might be a cramp Hensley on the season looks like he has not kicked a field goal yet in 12 for extra points on extra points though and uh, about 75% of his kickoffs are for touchback so he has a very very powerful leg and you can just tell when he punts that now he is a very, very good kicker. They have the ball at the 10, so it's going to be about a 27-yard field goal. They're still tending to the Clayton Valley Charter player. 4.51 to play in the third quarter. We'll be right back. Thank you for tuning in to this live audio broadcast. If you paid to listen to this event or you plan to, we know our broadcasters greatly appreciate that. It may pay for some gas, a hot dog at halftime, and just for their time, providing a great service for those who cannot attend or watch. We're nothing without our broadcasters. So thank you from all of us at Game Mike. The fall season is here. All right, welcome back. The injured player got off the field on his own power. Fourth down and goal. Hensley on for the field goal up 13 to nothing. All right, here we go. The center has the ball in his hands, ready for the snap. 4.51 to play in the third. Here's the snap. It's in the dirt. The kick's up. It's blocked. And Clean Valley has it, and they're returning it. And they get to about midfield. A bad snap in the dirt. Leads to a field goal block. That's the same way that an extra point got blocked. That ball was straight in the dirt. And the Clean Valley Charter was well aware 
pounced on the ball and returned it for a lot of yards, about 30 of them. And they will start on their own 37-yard line. And I believe that was Kenji Tello with that field goal block. All right, Clean Valley Charter taking over at their own 37. First time they've had the ball in the second half. Love it. And that quarterback, he fires it deep. And he overthrows his man. Second down and 10 for Clayton Valley Charter. The Ugly Eagles. Love it. And at quarterback, second and 10 now from their own 37. 13 to 0, Oak Ridge. 4 34 remaining in the third quarter here. Oak Ridge had a drive that lasted more than seven minutes. And it did not end with any points as that field goal was blocked. Second down and 10. Love it. In. Shotgun, they're waiting for a player to come off the bench. 434 left in the third. And timeout is called by Clayton Valley Charter. Their first of the half. We will take it with them, and I'll be back in 30 seconds. 13 to 0, Oak Ridge. Are you a parent with multiple active kids? Are you at one event while your spouse is at another? That's where Game Mic comes in, the free app that allows anyone to broadcast live audio so that people can listen on the go and feel as if they were there. Game Mic, it's in the emotions. Thank you for tuning in to this live audio broadcast. If you paid to listen to this event or you plan to, we know our broadcasters greatly appreciate that. It may pay for some gas, a hot dog at halftime, Hello and welcome back. Second down and 10. Here comes the snap. Love it. Hands the ball off to Jones. Jones rolls to the outside and he has some room. He might be off. One man to beat and that man, Jason Womack, takes him down. What a run there. And that, that was laid on George, who's having a nice game. Gets it across the 50 all the way down to the 37-yard line of Oak Ridge. A 26-yard run right there. He had one man to beat with a sophomore, Jason Womack, prepared for the collision and brought him down. First down and 10 now from the 37-yard line of Oak Ridge. Love it. In shotgun. Takes a snap. Hands the ball off to Dorch again. And this time, Dorch is taken down at the line of scrimmage. Looks like Cade Fair was the man for the tackle. And they're giving him one yard. 345 to play in the third quarter. Two possession game. Oak Ridge leads 13 to 0. Love it's in shotgun. A man right next to him. Three receivers out wide. He hands it off to Cleveland Brown, who got about two yards right there. Brown. Brown came around on a wide receiver reverse and got about two yards. Bryce Meggers with the tackle. Hands it to the 35. So it's third down and eight now. We're under three minutes in the third quarter. Third down and nine, 248 to play in the third.
All right, Levitt takes a snap and shotgun. He fires deep, and he overthrew his man, Womack, there with the coverage. Womack came closer to it to getting the pick than the offensive guy came to getting the reception. And just like that, it is fourth down and eight from the 35 with two minutes and 22 seconds left in the third quarter. Two twenty-two left, fourth down and eight. Thirteen to nothing. Love it. Breaks the huddle in shotgun. The Don Dorch right next to him on the left. Four receivers out wide. Big offensive line up front. Love it. Takes the snap. Edwards almost gets to him. Love it has to run. Love, love, love it has to throw. And it's caught. What a play there by Love it. He uh was dead in his tracks and then found his receiver. For the catch. And that was Dalton Cooper for the catch. What a time for your first catch of the day. First down and 10 now from the 19. Fourth down conversion. Love it was running. He was cornered near the sideline. Off his back foot, he just kind of flings it up there. And his man caught it about seven yards away and then ran the additional couple yards needed for the first down and a couple more. Love it now in shotgun. Takes the snap. Hands it off to Dorch. And Dorch gets through a hole and gets all the way down to about the 10-yard line. So that's going to set up a second down and one. Dorch was untouched through about five yards of that run and then he got to a hit and made it an additional four yards. Second and one now from the 10. One minute and 20 seconds left in the in the third quarter. Clayton Valley Charter. Needs a score right here. They need a touchdown. Love it. In shotgun. He takes a snap. Fakes the handoff. Throws. Caught. And first down and goal. Down at the three it looks like. Big time throw and catch right there. First and goal now for Clayton Valley Charter, and they're marking him at the four-yard line. And that was Tony Keck who got that catch. He has an offer from UNLV, and he is a senior. According to 24-7, he is the 109th best player in California. First down and goal. Love it. In shotgun. Dorch, his running back. Two receivers on the right side. Keck now moving over. They hand it off to Dorch. Dorch breaks through. He tried to get he's trying to get in and he is stuffed just short. Gets about two yards away. It looked like at about two yards away. He was gonna have a chance to dive in. But then he was hit and uh sent backwards. We have a player down on the field for Clayton Valley Charter. 37 seconds left in the third quarter. We're going to take a break and be right back here for the rest of this drive. Have you always wanted to be a sports broadcaster but didn't know how to get started? Well, Game Mike allows you to go out and practice, just like we need to practice as athletes. You can't get better without work, so gain that experience on Game Mike. Are you a parent with multiple active kids? Are you at one event while your spouse is at another? That's where Game Mike comes in, the free app that allows anyone to broadcast live audio so that people can listen on the go and feel as if they were there. Game Mike, it's in the emotions. Hello and welcome back. The player is being helped off the field right now. Good sign that he's able to get up. He's limping though, but uh, yeah, wishing the best for him. And uh, the teams are trotting back onto the field now for this second and goal situation. 
right now. 37 seconds remain in the third quarter. And Clayton Valley Charter is a uh, is in it. They have a chance to score right now. All right, the player is off the field, and here we go. The teams are set. Love it. Scrambles around. He fires off right before getting hit and just over his receiver's head. It's going to be third down and goal with 24 seconds left in the third quarter. Oak Ridge leads 13-0 to zero right now. Third down and goal. Love it. Was, uh, it seemed like the defensive line of Oak Ridge was all over him immediately. And he just had to kind of fling that one up into the air on third down. Third down and goal. Love it. The quarterback in shotgun. He takes a snap. Hands it off to his receiver. George tries to get to the edge. George trying to get to the edge. He missed stop and taken down. Just shy of the goal line. What a stop right there for the Oak Ridge defense. George. He was one-on-one -on -one with Kevin Arnell, and Arnell wrapped him up at the one and uh, pushed him backwards and stopped him. So now it's fourth down and goal, and they're marking that ball. We'll see where they mark it. Oh, that is the end of the third quarter. So I think they're going to mark the ball at the three-yard line. But we'll be back for the fourth quarter, and the first play of the fourth quarter is going to be a good one. Touchdown or bust on the line, and we'll be back for the fourth quarter in a moment. 13-0 Oak Ridge. All right, welcome back. So, Clayton Valley Charter will have the ball at the three-yard line. George made it to the one, but when he was pushed back by Arnold, he flew out of bounds at the three-yard line. The teams are running out onto the field now. Big play coming up to start the fourth quarter. It's 13-0 to zero, Oak Ridge. Clayton Valley Charter. Heavy set up front. Three running backs in the backfield. They take the snap. Love it. She gets to the outside, and he is stopped short of the goal line. He ran into a brick wall, the brick wall of Cole Riley. It looked like he had the momentum. He made it to the one, and then Cole Riley, he ran into Cole Riley, and Riley pushed him down, tackled him. And Oak Ridge will take over at the one-yard line, leading 13-0. Big-time stop right there on that possession. Thirteen to zero. Walking here's Mercado now. Standing about five yards in his own end zone in shotgun. Orme right behind him. 13-0 lead for the Trojans. He takes a snap. Orme makes it out of the end zone and gets a couple more. Gives them some, some, run, some room as he makes it out to the six-yard line. Second down now and five 
from the six yard line. Second down and five. And Oak Ridge seems content to just let some clock roll right now as well. 11 and a half minutes to go in the game. They're up by 13 right now, and this has been a slugfest all night long. Walking Gray's Mercado, standing at zone one, hands it off to Orme. And Orme gets to about the five, so he lost a yard there, I think. And it's going to be, oh, nope, they're giving him, uh, marking him at the six, so he no gain on the play. Third down and five coming up. We are under 11 minutes in the ball game. Third down and five. Oak Ridge. They're just running some clock right now, heading up to the line of scrimmage. Joaquin Grace Mercado in shotgun. Orme right behind him. Two yards behind him. Grace Mercado takes the shotgun step. Takes the hand off to Orme. He rolls out. He throws. Caught by Caleb Edwards. Edwards runs around. Gets the first down and more. Probably gets about 17 yards there. First down, Trojans. As the chains are moved. Big time play right there. Walking against Mercado. Faked the handoff. Rolled around. And then found his big tight end, Caleb Edwards, to move the chains all the way down to the 21-yard line. Gain of 15. As Oak Ridge breaks the huddle now, 10 minutes and 10 seconds to play. Joaquin Gays Mercado in shotgun. He now has Jason Womack behind him at running back. He takes a snap, hands it off to Womack. Womack runs through the middle and has room, and he is off to the races. It might, he's got at least 40, and he gets taken down deep in enemy territory at about the 20 yard line what a run by jason womack he just broke right through there and there's an injured plain valley player down at the 32 yard line 54 yard, carry. 54 yard run for womack Dion lou beverly with the stop and Dion lou beverly was able to bring him down Womack gets him all the way down to the 26-yard line. First down and 10 for the Trojans. And they are looking at the player who is down. We'll take a quick break. 9.43 to play in the ballgame. 13-0 Oak Ridge. What's up, everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is... Game Mike. Hello and welcome back. What's your the injured player is getting uh, taken off the field right now. He is walking off. Good sign to see, as always. And Oak Ridge has the ball at the Clayton Valley Charter 26 yard line. 9.43 to play in the ball game. And both teams are now on the field. Here it comes. They take the snap, hand it off to Orme. Orme sprints around the outside. Charges forward. He's a tough guy. That's all the way down to the 20. That's a gain of six. I mean, he was all wrapped up there and used his power to gain about three more yards. Sets up a second down and four. Oh 
from the 20 yard line. Walking Graves Mercado in shotgun. 8.50 to play in the ballgame. He takes the snap, hands it off to Womack. Womack runs around and gets down to about the 10 for a first down and more. So first and goal for the Trojans. With 8.43 to play in the ballgame. First down and goal from the nine, Womack. Nice run there. He's had a couple of nice runs on this drive. Several nice runs in the ball game. First and goal from the nine for the Trojans. The clock's moving, nearing the eight and a half minute mark in the game. 13 to zero, Oak Ridge. Walking Gary's Mercado. Takes the shotgun snap, hands it to Orme. Orme rips through, gets to about the six, maybe the seven. Looks like they're going to mark him down short at the seven yard line. And this Oak Ridge crowd is still very much into it, especially their student section, one of the best in the section as the clock hits the eight minute mark of the contest and continues to roll. Oak Ridge looking to move to 4 and 0 oh with a victory today. They watched Rockland win on this field just hours ago. And they want to match it. 7:45 to play. Here's the snap. They hand it off to Womack. Womack dives through, gets to about the 4. So a nice gain of 3 there by the sophomore Womack. Third down and goal from the four-yard line. 7.25 to play in the contest. Womack this year has a touchdown passing, a touchdown receiving, and three touchdowns rushing. Five total. His, his passing touchdown was on an end around against Grant, where he took the end around and then uh, threw it into the end zone for a score. Here's the third down. Graves Mercado in shotgun. Orme right behind him. They hand it off to Orme. Orme tries to get to the outside, cuts in, gets stopped short at about the one yard line. We'll see what the what Oak Ridge does here. The last two kicks, the extra point and the field goal, have both been blocked. So looks like the offense remains on the field. Joaquin Graves Mercado trotting back out to the huddle after getting. The play call from the sideline. Six and a half minutes to play. 13 to zero Trojans. One man on the outside. Walking here is Mercado in shotgun with Orme right behind him. They take the snap. Orme runs it in and Orme is stopped. Nope, he gets in. What an effort by Eric Orme. His second score of the game. 19 to zero Oak Ridge. Six minutes and nine seconds left in the ball game. What a run right there. Extra effort by Orme to get into the end zone and it sounds, sends the band into song. 19 nothing, 6.09 to play and uh, it looks like they're going for two. 19 to zero. 6.09 to play. And here comes the two-point conversion. Joaquin Gray's Mercado in shotgun. Orme on his right. Orme, two rushing touchdowns today. He now has five on the season. He takes a snap. He, he's looking to throw. He rolls out. He fires to the end zone. Caught. Two-point conversion is good. Andrew Struts with the two-point conversion. And it's 21 to 0. Oak Ridge Trojans have the lead here with 6.09 to play in the fourth quarter. Wow. Clay Valley Charter was literally about a yard away from making it a one-score game. But instead, they were stopped on the goal line. 
And then Oak Ridge turns it right around and goes on a 99-yard touchdown drive to make it a three-possession game. And Oak Ridge is six minutes and nine seconds away from moving to a 4-0 record. Ranked number three in the section. And what a battle this season's going to be. The SFL, one of the best sections, one of the best leagues in the state. Delora last night put a thumping on Lincoln of Stockton. Rockland today put a thumping on Manteca. And then you have Folsom who puts a thumping on pretty much everybody. As the kickoff, short of the end zone, it's returned by Dion Beverly, who gets out to about the 30-yard line before he's brought down. And six minutes exactly remain on the clock. And Clayton Valley Charter will begin the drive. Looks like on their own 27-yard uh, line. 21 to 0. Love it. In shotgun. He takes a snap, hands the ball aloft to Dorch, and Dorch gets to the 30 yard line before he's brought down after a gain of three yards. Second down and seven coming up as the clock is at 5.44 and it's rolling. Here's the snap. They hand it off. Nope, they fake it. And interception. And this one's going to the house. Jason Womack with a house call. Touchdown, Oak Ridge. He has to dive into the end zone. He just jumped in front of that pass and took it all the way to the house. 27-0 Oak Ridge. What a play by Womack. Not only does he have touchdowns this year, passing, rushing, and receiving, but add on on defense as an interceptor. He just jumped that pass, sprinted all the way to the house, and had to dive in. Just crossing that goal line. Touchdown. What a play by the sophomore. 27 to nothing. Had that big 54-yard run on the last drive. That set up a touchdown. And now the Oak Ridge offense uh, struggling to have enough men on this extra point attempt. I mean, because they, they weren't even on the field. It was the defense on the field. But now they got their guys down there. It's 27 nothing. And here comes the extra point attempt by Hensley. He really needs this one. 8 of 12 on the season. The snap's good. The kick's up. The kick is perfect. 28 nothing. Ooh, there's a flag down. And there is a Clayton Valley Charter player hurt. And Wow, I'm not sure. <laughs> It might be bad. I don't know. He's holding his head. But it also could be a cramp. They're stretching him out. We'll see. But 28 nothing. Flag on the field. We'll see what they call here. He was at first holding his lower leg. But now they're stretching out that same leg. So hoping it's just a cramp. And the penalty is on the defense. Roughing the kicker. <laughs> So it's 28 0, 5 17 to play in the ball game after that. Jason Womack pick six. Just what a player. What a sophomore. All right, 28 0, 5 17. We'll be right back for the kickoff in 30 seconds. Hey, everyone. This is Chris Revis, co founder of Game Mike. Thank you for listening in. Game Mike was built so any school, any program, any sport, any time can create a live audio broadcast. We believe audio brings moments to life. Download Game Mike today in the app and Google Play Store. Game Mike, it's in the emotions. What's up everyone? Thanks for listening in to Game Mike. Action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go. This is Game Mike.
Hello and welcome back. Here comes the kickoff from Oak Ridge. They lead 28 nothing after that. Jason Womack, 50-yard pick six. And the player who was hurt. Dion Beverly got off the field good under his own power. Always a great sign to see. Here is the kickoff. Hensley's kick is deep and into the end zone for another touchback. And Clayton Valley Charter will start the drive at their own 20-yard line with 5.17 to play in the ballgame. You got to think at this point, Clayton Valley Charter just wants to, to get out of here. They just want this clock to run out and get out of here. But there's still five minutes and 17 seconds left. And now it's Lovett's brother, who is not on my roster, but his last name obviously is also Lovett. He is in at quarterback. He takes the snap, takes the handoff, throws, caught, and taken down. That was Dylan Healy with the catch, and that moves the chains. That was a very nice pass. As the clock hits five minutes, and the ball at the 31-yard line. He takes a snap. Love it. Drops back. Fires. Caught. Another first down. That was about 20 yards right there. And that was Tony Keck. They're moving the ball nicely right now. As Love it's in shotgun. 4.48 to play in the ballgame. Looks like he has George on his left. He takes a snap. He throws another completion. And this time, taken out of bounds, Santino de Avila. And uh, not enough for a first down, but a gain of seven. Three for three. Love it is three for three coming into this game. So second and three from midfield. 440 to play in the contest. Here's the snap. Levitt drops back. He throws complete and brought down another first down for Clayton Valley Charter. All right, first down from the Oak Ridge 43-yard line. Love it, drops back. And he is sacked. It, was, it looks like it was a couple players on, the, on that Oak Ridge sack as the clock here nears the four-minute mark of the ball game. 28 to zero. Oak Ridge has jumped ahead. It was just 13 to nothing. It seemed like with Clayton Valley knocking on the doorstep, but Oak Ridge stopped them, and that just set off a tidal wave of points. Love it. Takes a shotgun snap. Hands off the football. And uh, looks like a slight gain on the play. Maybe a gain, a gain of one yard. Three and a half minutes to play. 28 to zero. All right, Levin drops back. He fires across the middle. It's caught. And that was Santino de Avila. 
And Clayton Valley Charter is in to the red zone here at the 19-yard line. First down and 10 for the Ugly Eagles. Three minutes and 13 seconds left in the contest. And Love It hurries the team to the line with the clock is stopped still. Yeah, there it goes, 312. Love It takes the shotgun snap. He's looking deep. He fires to his running back, Dorch. And Dorch tries to get to the outside. He cuts inside and gets stopped. And he fumbles the football. And it's picked up by Oak Ridge. And that was Logan Justrich who recovered that fumble. And 2.55 left in the ball game. Oak Ridge will take over at their own 21-yard line with a chance to just run out this clock. Clayton Valley Charter has two timeouts left. Not sure if they would even want to use them. 2.55 to play. And Joaquin Graves Mercado back into the game at quarterback still. Up 28-0, looking to put the final exclamation points on this shutout. Jacob Chartier, the junior running back in the backfield. They hand it off to Chartier. Chartier runs it forward, and he gets taken down for no gain. 2.42 to play. And that clock is rolling, and Oak Ridge is showing no intention to go quick. All they need is one first down pretty much, and they'll be able to run this clock out. All right, Grace Mercado in shotgun, and Chardier right behind him. Second down and 10 with 2.10 to play in the ballgame. And they're waiting for the referee to start the five-second countdown, which he has not started yet. And there we go. He has started it. They take the snap, hand it off to Chardier. Chardier, ooh, he takes a hit but gets about two or three yards. Down up to the 27-yard line. So gain of one right there. And correction, they started the drive at the 26, not the 21. So third down and nine, 137 showing on the clock, which is rolling. Big win for the Trojans. They're moving to 4-0. and A nice one on the resume against the number five team in the North Coast section. Clayton Valley Charter will fall to one and two. There's a snap. And they hand it to Chartier, who gets about one yard before he's brought down. He was brought down at the 106 mark, so should be under 30 seconds by the time Oak Ridge gets the next snap off. Here comes Hensley. He's looking like one of the best punters in the section. Oak Ridge has always had great special teams. Last year they had Carson Nichols. The last couple of years they've had Carson Nichols, who owns the school record with a 46-yard field goal. And now they have Alex Hensley, who's an amazing punter. And Oak Ridge takes a timeout with 26 seconds left. They're letting that clock roll as far as possible. All right, so again, the punting unit on the field. Clean Valley Charter staff is already putting their stuff away. All right, after the timeout, the, the special teams units are back onto the field for this fourth down, which looks like it's going to be a punt. From Hensley, 26 seconds left. Here's the punt, high in the air, a booming kick. 
And it is going to take an Oak Ridge bounce. And it is down at the 26-yard line. So a nice 46-yard punt to end the night. And it's down with 10 seconds left. It was uh, the last inches. It just kept rolling. So a couple extra seconds rolled off the clock too. 10 seconds remain. All around great game from Oak Ridge. Eric Ormay Jr., two touchdown rushes. Jason Womack probably has over 100 rushing yards, and he had a pick six. Walking Graves Mercado, a touchdown pass. And the defense, zero points allowed. Count them, zero. Zero points allowed. What a performance from the Trojans. And here comes the Clayton Valley offense with 10 seconds left in the contest. Love it. In that quarterback, in shotgun. He takes the snap. He drops back. He's looking to throw. And he fires a completion. And that will do it. It was complete. But the clock has expired. 28-0. It's a final. Oak Ridge has won the ball game. We're going to keep it right here. I'm going to take a break, but I'm going to try to get a post-game interview, depending if I can, before they start the long trophy presentation. So stay tuned. Right here. Max Preps is America's source for high school sports, and we're looking for more broadcasters out there that have an interest in providing live audio from their high school events. No experience needed but it can be gained. Listen in to the trophy presentation, and I will have an interview following the trophy presentation. Mr. Soto, the host of the Honor Bowl, is uh, hosting the trophy presentation. Athletes, remember what we talked about in the locker room today. Take that back to your schools. Make sure you you remain the leaders of your schools. It speaks to me that's what you heard in this locker room. All right. So without further ado, we're going to give out the MVP, which was awarded by the media. It was on site today. The character awards were voted on by the head coaches. For Clayton Valley. Character Award winner is number 10, Angel Gonzalez. We're opening the Character Award is number 75, Ethan Tasman. Because of the history of the Honor Bowl, we 
we have never had back-to-back -back champions. And now, we would like to give the 2023 Honorable Championship to Casey Taylor and the Unmissed Chargers. All right, stick with me for just a minute. I'll try to get an interview after Oak Ridge sings their alma mater. I'll be right back. Keep it here, but I'll be hopefully with an interview in a moment.
Thanks for, thanks for doing this. And great game. I'm here with Jason Womack, sophomore for Oak Ridge. Uh, and Jason, uh, you guys were up 13 nothing, and they were kind of knocking on the doorstep there, I guess. What did it mean to kind of, I guess, to stop them and carry that momentum into the rest of the game? Oh, it felt great. It helped a lot through the third and fourth quarter. It made us want to keep pushing and just make us want to win that game. Yeah. And then uh, when you uh, – when you got that pick six there, I guess, when the ball was in the air, I guess, what was kind of your thought process but like up until it got to your hands? So the play before that, they had run a, like a dart where the guy runs like a screen and the guy blocks and he was wide open down the field. And then that wide receiver gave him that same like look and they ran that same play. They faked it and then that guy ran a post and I just jumped it because I knew that it was going to happen. Right, and then just a sophomore, I guess, did you maybe grow up watching Oak Ridge football? And uh, I guess, what does it mean to you to be in this situation? Uh, I, uh, this is my third year as a Trojan. I've always played at Vista. And ever since I've been around here, I just love it. I love the environment. And I just love the atmosphere. Cool. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. All right. And that was Jason Womack, sophomore, who had a pick six and uh, big, lots of rushing yards and just an overall great game. And uh, thank you very much for joining me today. I am Thomas Fry of Max Preps, and this was a great game, a great honorable. And, uh, yeah, excited to see what the future will hold for both of these squads. And uh, that will do it for me here in El Dorado Hills. Final score, Oak Ridge 28, Clayton Valley Charter 0. Thank you very much.